Rob from Modern Tribe here. For the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through a very straightforward process, which is changing the language of your WordPress installation. It's worth noting that if you change the language of your WordPress installation, it's only going to translate the events calendar and any of the events calendar add-ons that you have if we have completed PO and MO files built into the plugin. Which means that if somebody has actively come to us and said, I'd like to translate your plugin to, say, German, we'd give them a license in exchange for providing the completed PO and MO files. We'd incorporate those into the next release of the plugin, and from there forth, anybody who tried to translate that plugin and their site to German would see all those German translation files. If we don't have your language, changing the WordPress site installation language is not going to have any impact on the calendar, and it is going to stay exactly the same as it looked before you made the change. So just keep that in mind. Here we are looking at the front end of my site on the calendar specifically, and obviously it's all in English. That needs to change, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the folder where my WordPress site is actually installed, and I'm going to open the wp-config file. Now I'm on a, working on a local host here. If you were working on a FTP server, what you're going through right now would be a little bit different. But once you got to this stage where you're viewing the contents of your WordPress installation, it's going to be very similar. We're not going to worry about any of these subfolders. We want something on the top level, and that's wpconfig.php. I'm going to open it in my text editor of choice, which at the moment is TextMate, and then I'm going to scroll down until I find this define WP Lang section. For me, it's on line 72. It's probably going to be around there for you also. All I want to do in here is drop in the language code for the language I'm trying to change. We were using German as our example earlier, so what am I going to do to find that? Well, what I like to do is I like to come into this WordPress in your language page on the codex, and I like to scroll down and see, okay, if I'm looking for German, what is the actual language code for German? Looks like it's DE underscore DE. Okay, I'm going to copy that. And I should check before I actually make this switch, does the events calendar have this language? Because if my overall site is translated to German, it's not going to have much bearing on the calendar if the calendar doesn't have completed DE, DE, PO, and MO files. I'm going to go back to my overall WordPress installation, come into WP Content, and from there come into Plugins. Then I'm going to find the events calendar, and I'm going to go into the Lang folder for it. All the language files are contained therein, and I'm going to scan this list to make sure DE, DE is present. It is. You see it right here. There's a MO and a PO file. So we're good. We know that we have completed DE, DE translations for the events calendar. Let's go back over to TextMate here. Drop in that little string in between these two quotes that were previously empty. Save the file. Go back. Refresh the front end of our site. And we should be seeing some German now. Notice, indeed, it's appearing right off the bat. If I go to the dashboard of my site and refresh that, you'll also see the events-related elements are all translated into German, and you're seeing it as you should. This can work with any language, any language in the WP Codex that we have completed files for. And again, if you'd like to provide us for one that is obscure that we don't have already, we'd love to provide you a free license in exchange. Thanks for watching.